the BAFTA goes to ITV News at 10, Woolwich Attacks production team. much indeed. Uh, we are of course conscious that this award is for um, our coverage of a particularly uh, brutal murder on the streets of London a year ago uh, next week and so first and foremost our thoughts really have to be with the family of drummer Lee Rigby. Of course, programmes only get made like this with an extraordinary team of people. I'd like to pay tribute to our home affairs team, our UK editor, Lucy Manning, Ed Campbell, Sandy Sidhu, also Richard Frediani, Jonathan Monroe, David Stanley, all those gathered here, da Paul Davis too. Um, but I'd also like to dedicate this award to our programme editor of News at 10, Bernard Cole, a brilliant and bold man who was suddenly taken from us all last week. We mourn his loss, we will miss him in the newsroom, and we salute him too tonight. Thank you. And congratulations um, on your win. What does it mean to the team? I think on behalf of ITV News, we're all really proud to get this award. We're really conscious that uh, difficult decisions had to be made that day in the newsroom to show some pretty horrific footage. And we're very conscious that the Rigby family had to see that footage. And we pay tribute with this award to their courage and to their dignity uh, throughout what happened and during the trial as well. Um, obviously, there's so many developments now in social networking. How important are these developments? You know, with people uploading video content from their mobile, putting things on Twitter, does that help you? Well, it's, it does help us. It's very important as well, as was proven in this story. Um, but it doesn't mean that all this um, material that is being produced on a daily basis is necessarily helpful in the sense that there is still this great need in the evening that at 10 o'clock and 6.30 to produce a half-hour bulletin uh, by trained journalists who have condensed the most important things that have happened in that day into a coherent and accessible programme. And I think that's what we do on News at 10. I think that's why in four years out of six, I think it is now that News at 10 have actually won a BAFTA, and it's a real honour to be acknowledged in that way. Yeah, no, absolutely. It is brilliant for the team as well. It's quite a big team as well. I mean, there's, uh, how, is, is, how many of you are working on there? Well, I mean, this is just a small snapshot of the News at 10 team. We've got extraordinary correspondents like Emma Murphy, Lucy Manning, our UK editor, our whole home affairs team, Ed Campbell, who pilots all so brilliantly, and Sandy as well, who works so hard on it. It's always a team effort to put a news programme together, and particularly when you're dealing with sensitive material like this, it takes people who can make sensitive and compassionate but sometimes hard-headed judgments and then make sure that it gets to air with sensitivity, compassion and care. And I hope that we achieve that uh, on the evening that we dealt with this dreadful story. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, look, congratulations. Enjoy your evening and, um, yeah, a very well-deserved award. There's just one other thing. I mean, as we mentioned there, there is someone who we're very sad is not here tonight and that is the editor of the programme that won this award. And that's Bernard Cole, and really this is for him as much as it is for anybody. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.